Hi everyone. Today is day 37 of my year-long fitness journey. And uh, it's a windy, nasty day out. Uh, so windy that the garbage cans blew over and I can hear stuff just flying across the lawn. It's uh, not a pretty day to be walking outside, so I've been doing most of my walking indoors today. It's not as fun or as exciting to be doing the walking indoors, but the nice thing is you can watch some TV while you do it. I generally watch YouTube, travel videos, things like that. I like to think of myself as going somewhere, even though I really never go anywhere. <laughs> I've lived in Tucson my entire life. I've been to one other country, and that's Mexico. And that was only a couple of times for uh, probably less than a total of two days. Still, I think about going places, places like Montreal or South America, Alaska, Thailand. There's a lot of cool videos out there. Norway and Sweden also, and the Netherlands. There's a lot of countries that look really cool to visit. Unfortunately, visiting other countries requires having money, and I'm an American, so I'm broke. I do my best just to keep the ship afloat. Today's weigh-in was 302.5 pounds. That's up a pound from yesterday. Not super surprising considering I had just dropped four and a half pounds over the past couple days before then, and uh, there needed to be a little bit of a bounce back for that not to be just insane. I am over being sick. I feel pretty good today, and it's nice to feel like I'm back in action and able to do the things I need to do, especially the walking and the other bits of exercise and eating well. Yesterday I consumed 1,935 calories. That's pretty close to that 2,000 mark, so I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like it was a pretty good day. My active steps yesterday were 12,597, so a pretty good number there. Still want to start getting numbers above 13,000 again, but it's harder to do when you're inside. To that note, I only managed 1,007 active calories, which is above my 1,000 goal, which is great. But as you can see, you just don't generate quite as many calories when you're walking indoors. You just can't get up the speed. The heart rate doesn't get up as high. It's just not quite as productive. But at least you can still walk, and that's the main point is just to keep walking, keep up the pace, keep up the schedule, do everything you can just to stay healthy. My blood sugar this morning was a little high at 124. I don't like seeing that, but at least it's not up in the 130s again. I think this will start coming down once I'm able to start doing more outdoor walks again. Health-wise, I just haven't been able to do that the past couple of days, and then today, just like I said, windy as hell. I would like to hear from some of you, especially if you're doing your own health journey or just trying to get in shape. How's it going? Don't feel bad if you're not having as much success as you'd like. It's hard to work being healthy into your daily life, and that's why I had to pretty much dedicate a video to that, even if nobody watches half the time, because it keeps me accountable, it keeps me working towards my goal. I know that at the end of the day, I have to report my progress, and if I'm reporting my progress every day, I'm going to want to make progress every day. The downside of this is that exercising takes time, making videos takes time. I'm taking two to three hours out of my day that I used to have for other things, and I'm devoting it to this. It's worth the effort, I know that, but it is still effort, and it still takes time away from things I like to do, games I like to play, people I like to hang out with, but it's all a part of just wanting to remain on this earth for a little while longer. My health has not been good for quite a while, and if I want to live to be in my 60s, 70s, 80s, or even beyond that, it's going to take daily exercise. I'm not going to get there without it, because my habits have not been good over the past 50 years. Believe it or not, I've survived longer than a lot of my friends. Even at the age of 56, I've lost three friends to diseases of some sort. Um, I lost one friend to childhood diabetes. He made it to the age of 42. I lost another friend whose compromised immune system allowed him to be taken over by a relatively mild disease that, that otherwise probably wouldn't have bothered him. And another one I believe had a heart attack and died, although I've never been able to get the full details. It's hard for me to believe that half my childhood friends are gone due to disease and poor health and not taking care of themselves. It really drives home the fact that if you don't stay vigilant, anything can happen and most of the things that can happen are bad. I miss my friends and it's hard. One of the things that keeps me going though is I have relatively young kids. I need to be here for another 10 to 20 years just to make sure they get to where they need to be in life. I had kids at a relatively old age in my 40s. I'm going to be in my late 60s before they finish high school and college and all the things that they need to do, and I want to be here. I want to see all that. And that's a pretty compelling reason to just walk around in a track every day, trying to stay healthy, 
trying to lose the weight I need to lose. I'm basically trying to become a healthier person than I ever really thought I would be. There was a point in my 40s, before we had kids, and I was very overweight, that I had begun to accept the idea that maybe I just wasn't going to live that long. And that I was okay with that. If it happened, it happened. Now I have far more things to live for. It helps you focus on your goals, your needs, your family, and life in general. I guess that's all I have to say today. I'm going to leave you with my Terry Pratchett quote of the day. This one is from Nightwatch. He took an oath to uphold the law and defend the citizens without fear or favor, said Vimes. And to protect the innocent. That's all they put in. Maybe they thought those were the important things. Nothing in there about orders, even from me. You're an officer of the law, not a soldier of the government. That's all for today. Please like, please subscribe. I would love to hear your comments, especially if you're on your own sort of health journey or just trying to get into shape. And I'll see you all tomorrow.